happy Thursday. <clears throat> I like it. I like really it. Really, I'll be coming out here on Thursday. You know what's really bad, y'all? When the worst decision you have to make is about food or your nail color. That's the only thing I'm stressed about today. I don't know what nail color to get. It's a new set. When you get the new set, you want it, you know, to be light because it's going to be so perfect and pretty. I'm stressing, y'all. Uh, But I'm not a color person. I'm a pink and nude and like, whenever I see color on everybody else, that I'd be so pretty. And I have to get my toes done too. So I could really be cute, you know? Like I could really like pick a really cute color. I normally don't get everything done all in the same day, but I woke up this morning and was like, star. Yes, I need a pamper day. I need a day of, not me per se, but like, I just want, I want, I want new nails, I want new toes, I want my eyebrows, so yeah. And it's my mama's birthday, y'all. It's her birthday. So, I'm gonna take y'all with me today and show y'all what I get. And, oh, and the biggest stress of it all, y'all, I'm trying a new nail tech. Please pray for me. Please pray for me. I know there's so much other stuff going on in the world, but like these nail techs, I have had the worst experience. It, and that's why I went to the Vietnamese in the mall because it's in and out but I have had nail techs literally get lunch delivered have the nerve to be shaping my hands and then stop pick up a chicken wing dip it in ranch and eat it I had another experience where I got my nails and toes done and she has some puppies and the puppy decided he was gonna keep peeing on my foot because my feet were out to dry so you know feet out to dry that was back in the day because i get the other way now the puppies kept peeing on my feet y'all and she didn't say nothing then another one she's fighting with her boyfriend and was like, I'm about to go outside. I'll be back in a minute. I was just sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting. Y'all know I got kids. Ain't nobody got time for that. Like, I'm crossing my fingers that this nail shop in tech is going to be bomb.com because I ain't got Hi, y'all. Okay, so y'all gonna see in a minute. <laughs> Hope you're having a great day. All right, you told me five fifty-seven. Hello. Okay, so I'm sorry. Did you sell any food items today? Hi. Um. Yes. Can I get a grilled cheese? Yeah, no problem. Let me see if we have those real quick. Okay. If I don't have this grilled cheese, I'm gonna climb it. Y'all. Yeah. 
And then can I get a venti um, strawberry strawberry acai refresher with lemonade? All right. Well, this will be your order today. Yes. Shelly. All right, you're told to be eleven fifty-five. Okay, thank you. No problem. I'm so excited, John, because this grilled cheese is the. I'm telling y'all, y'all got to go get it. You got to go get it. It's so good. It's so so good. If you're wearing something, the grease will drop on your clothes. So keep it in the white bag and roll the bag down. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Anyway, so my um, son's girlfriend, this is on her by the way, she got me a beautiful card and she got me a Starbucks gift card for Mother's Day. And I thought that that was so sweet. Like, I'm not your mom, but it's so wonderful to be considered and appreciated because yeah and then my sons wonder why i get so attached to these girls like that was so sweet that's like something that i would do like i'm already trying to think of graduation gifts um for her but so cute they're over right now she's over right now well they're gone they went to um get their prom tickets wait wait till y'all see my baby for prism he coming they coming hard y'all they coming hard i don't know I, I really don't know why because it's covid style but you know they deserve it they deserve it cast tech in the house ct baby both of them very proud of the both of them and then, guess what, y'all? I got another surprise. I, I, I just keep getting these surprises. Guess who else is graduating from college? I mean, I knew he was in school, so it's not a total surprise. I knew he was in school, but I didn't know he was graduating. Y'all, that Sergeant Jabbar Williams told me to look out for his graduation packet because he is graduating. All his classmates are graduating too. But my baby, mine, okay? We have, we about to have a bragging moment right quick. My baby is graduating as well as being a sergeant in the United States Marine Corps. Y'all see that heart right there? It's beating out my chest, y'all. I'm so I'm so proud of him. I'm so proud of him. I know a lot of people wrote on this letter that I posted on Facebook of something heroic him and uh, three other Marines did and were recognized for it. A lot of people wrote, I'm not surprised. Of course, Jabbar did. And whereas I could say that too, um, you may not be surprised, of course, Jabbar did, because that's the type of person that he is, but it's a choice. It just reminds me of the choices that we have. It's a choice. He didn't have to. He didn't have to choose a good path. Kids don't have to make the best decisions, but they're choosing to make the best decisions, just like us adults are choosing to make better decisions decisions every day it's such a lesson in that man it's such a lesson but i'm so freaking proud i'm i mean woo! i'm proud y'all i'm a proud mama i am of my little bears my big bears i'm the little bear but anyway so in the starbucks line waiting for my food and then i'm gonna get the boys lunch drop it off and then uh, mommy gets to have a moment a moment to herself to get these nails did toes did eyebrows did everything did take the moment y'all like i know a lot of people are doing those um press on nails and hey if that's your flavor that's fine but i always tell especially my best friend i always tell she was like you always get your nails done but did you know that you could do it yourself Girl. 
first of all, Shells is not doing anything herself because I like to be pampered. I like to be touched and you know, I, I like I like my pamper time. Do not take your pamper time away from you. Now I'm all about saving the mighty dollar. You might can't get all the glitz and glamour on your nails. You might have to go, you know, to the Viet Vietnamese and there's nothing wrong with that because I like to go there, especially when I'm just doing plain Jane. But sometimes women sacrifice their mental and everything um to save a dollar here save a dollar there i will figure out how to save a dollar somewhere else but it ain't gonna be on the stuff i love ain't sorry can't do it i've done it before i'm not saying i i, I won't i've done it before but there are certain things that are non-negotiable nails non-negotiable usually hair but i'm like swimming and doing stuff and out with sports and all that like i slick it back in a minute trying to get my hair some time from the braids for breakage so yeah you'll see a quick ponytail on me for a little bit um but nah my nails and toes i said <laughs> i'm not doing them period non-negotiable what are y'all non-negotiables that you just have to have done tell me in the comments it's so pretty outside. I know he gonna roast me because I don't have my thing open. Okay, now y'all can see the clouds. Dang, what is the pro? Do y'all notice right now everywhere you go, it's a line. Everywhere you go, it's a line. If you don't have your patience game in COVID 2020, you you better stay at home because you're going to be mad. You better stay at home. I wish I had a magic wand. Like, ooh, you know when you're so hungry, it's just like, ugh, I'm hangry. I'm getting hangry. Hangry. Er, er, because I'm hungry. Okay. Okay. Now, this is how you eat it. What? Thank you so much. Have a good day. Y'all. Yeah. And y'all, yeah, I'm talking with food in my mouth. Mm. That grilled cheese. Thank you, Lord, for red light. And this right here, it's all good. Make sure you get it with lemonade though. Don't let them put no water in your stuff. It was cold. This son be trying to trick you. Hold on, pause. What is going on in here? And, and quiet down. Yeah, look at it. So good. Mm, mm, mm. The influencers that I watched tell me about this. Yummy. Delicious. I gotta eat y'all. <laughs>
out of sight Long way, so in, say it again, so in Make that money, throw it in Booty bouncing, gone come on, head come on. Rose sports, Lamborghini, Blue Medina Always be the rag top, chrome pipes Blue lights out of sight Long way, so in, say it again, so in Make that money, throw it in Booty bouncing, gone come on, come on. head Rose sports, Lamborghini star people star family it's friday it's friday y'all it's friday it is also in my family and france or france too it is what i call birthday week everybody's birthday in my family is this week a lot of people but first Gotta get that lip gloss. Yeah. Gotta get that lip gloss. Okay. Am I set? Now I got my burnish. Woo! That's yummy. It is Friday, you guys, and I have so much to do, it's not even funny. Yum Yum's birthday is tomorrow. My God baby's birthday is today. My mama's birthday was yesterday. My daddy's birthday is Sunday. My nephew's birthday, Monday. Slap. My other nephew's birthday is this week again too. Yeah, it's a lot. But right now, I have to do something I really don't want to do. But when we talk about self-care, y'all, self-care is not just, you know, the nails and the toes and all of that. Self-care is also your health. And one thing that people neglect horribly and especially... I ain't gonna say in our community because I've seen other people that don't do it either. I don't take care of your teeth. So when I got sick, very, very sick three years ago, my braces were supposed to come off before I was in the hospital for almost three months straight. And I didn't get them off before I got sick because it all happened so fast. And after I got out of the hospital, those three months, I couldn't take my braces off because I was so weak and it ended up being almost a year too late to take the braces off. So fast forward, I take the braces off and then it's damaged. My teeth are damaged. So I found me a bomb African American female dentist in Southfield who it's gonna do all of my cosmetic work on my teeth and guys i'm so excited i can't wait and you know what the other blessing is because <sighs> then we had covid couldn't do nothing no dentist was going in your mouth and you didn't want nobody going in your mouth right the blessing is she i went to her she did a whole plan of what we have to do with my teeth and she ran it through my insurance and guess what y'all god is so good god is so good everything is covered at a hundred percent don't get no better don't get no better and y'all let me say this even if your stuff is not covered it is so many resources out there um you know, people swear people got money. I am the most resourceful couponing person you would ever want to meet. Anybody that's close to me can vouch for it. Um, just because times don't look tough don't mean that they're not tough. I don't know why people don't understand that, especially if they know what field you're in. It's tough out here for everybody, okay? 
everybody them little stimulus checks people swear people was doing this and doing it like they were needed they were needed okay um if you qualify for them a lot of people didn't even qualify for them so you know that's a whole nother story too but um as you see the lines are long everywhere you go wendy's taco bell all these places are like we'll get bonuses and all that just for help because nobody has help the mcdonald's by me the taco bell by me the caesar they couldn't even open because they ain't had no help it's bad y'all it's bad like for everybody okay everybody but don't not go to the dentist because you don't have no insurance please don't do that it's several several um several resources if you need help hey hit me up because i have a list of resources and everything because i'm just the type of person i can't maybe help you all the time with money i can't <laughs> I, nobody, and this is the thing that people don't get to that irks my soul. When the economy is doing bad, did nobody say they're gonna take my truck and and I don't have to pay the note? Did nobody just because income dwindled? My bills don't change. They don't take my house or the mortgage people don't call and be like, you know what? Since the plants are laid off or they're not working up to capacity and you're missing money, we're gonna not. You know, you don't have to pay your note or we're going to take it down a couple hundred this month for you. Don't nobody know that. You still got to pay. You still have to pay and make ends meet. Kids home. I have four boys. They eat. You don't even want to know my grocery bill. You don't even want to know. Like, <laughs> I look at them like we ate peanut butter and jelly when we were younger. That's my favorite. You go to. I don't eat that. Well, then you're not going to eat. You're not like, I mean, I'm just saying, y'all. I'm just saying. It's going to be my PSA for the day. Be resourceful. Help others out in your family first. Help those in your family first. <laughs> then go outside of your family. And, and if you can help, if you can't help, don't worry about it. Don't stress about it. When you can, go back and help. <laughs> If, if you can, you know, um, it, it, it's tough. It's tough for a lot of people. And I know that my family can vouch because I've always said, if I got two chickens and you hungry, you getting one. We'll figure it out later. I've always been like that. But things have changed you know what i'm saying things have changed you gotta take care of your household first your household bills first make ends meet first and then you go out um hit people up that are resourceful i drive in my area and churches are giving are giving out boxes of food the school is giving out boxes of food and i just want to say the food that they're giving out is called snacks it ain't the meat <laughs> that be on the table for dinner okay um, if you know it, kids and snacking, they'll eat that junk up in, in two days and you won't get another box till the next week. Don't be prideful to go get your box. I go get the box. My kids do not eat everything in the box. And guess what? Whatever they don't eat, I take it and I donate it to a specific group of people that I know need it. I don't eat 2% milk. My kids don't eat 2% milk and we get like four gallons. I take it and I donate it. I ask around who needs something. Even my kids' clothes, I ask, does anybody need before I go try to sell? Because yes, I would like to make money on the clothes that I bought them, but right now people need help. They need help. So I know I went off subject. I'm going to the dentist. I'm taking care of what needs to be taken care of. And then we got some other activities too.
Okay, y'all, I just got done with my dentist appointment. I am like woozy to two hours. But my teeth look amazing. Dr. Greer is the bomb. Dot com. I don't even know what I can eat. I'm so hungry, y'all. I, I do this every time I go to a dentist. I never eat. I know that was gross, but yeah, my whole mouth is numb and I felt like I was like. I felt like I was spitting. But anyway, I can't even feel my face. Take care of your health. I'm out. Bedtime. Okay, y'all, since I um was in Southfield at the dentist, I had to go by Tamala's shop. It's called Fashion Save. And um I had went and got me and my cousin some sweatshirts a couple of about a month or two ago. And she had these matte black sunglasses that I just had to have. As you can see, I stopped and got them. And then uh, I wanted a fashion, I mean, I wanted a Detroit gal t-shirt. I had a sweatshirt, but I wanted the t-shirt. So I don't know about y'all, but when I go out of town or just on a weekend or whatever, I like to rock. So she has some t-shirts and I go support. She is such a sweetheart. I've known her for a long time. Um, but yeah, these matte black sunglasses, y'all. These are cute. I love the matte black, especially with my black truck. I love the matte black. Oh, my mouth. I'm so hungry, y'all. I'm gonna have to like drink some soup or something. I can't have no wine or nothing until tomorrow. The Lord Jesus help me. I don't know what I'm gonna do. But anyway, these my black sunglasses are the ish. Yes, girl, yes. Okay, I'm going home. I got so much more to do. I can't even go to sleep. I wanna go to bed. I gotta take that kid to work, that other kid to work. You know, when you commit to something, you gotta, no matter what. That's why moms, they keep going no matter what. Two hours at the dentist, going to go get that kid, going to go pick up the birthday cake, probably got to go back and get that kid. Like, yeah, I'll sleep later. I will, I will, I will. I'll sleep, I'll sleep later. Hi, ah, y'all. The day don't end. It's time for my haul. I'm gonna do my haul real quick because I got birthday things going on. I'm high, I'm bothered, but I gotta show y'all some stuff that I got. And Javier, can you go give me something to drink? Yeah. Like a water. Go give me a water. Okay. So I love to thrift. So we're gonna talk about thrifting and we're gonna talk about Burlington Co Factory. And we're going to talk about my girl Tamala's Fashion Save line located in Southfield. But first, let's talk thrifting. But first, she needs some air. But anyway, I'm going to give you something to drink in a minute. But look at this, shot. If you've ever been to my home, you know I love collecting like the old back in the day stuff. So I found an old Boston vacuum mouth. This is made by Boston. Pencil sharpener at the Goodwill. And it was $4. And no, we're not gonna use it. I'm just collecting it to put in my room, which I will give you guys a tour of my room that has a lot of retro stuff in it. <sighs> That's one thing I got. 
And I also got, excuse me y'all, cause I just came in from outside and I'm hot and bothered. Thank you, my birthday boy. Okay. Okay, I'm back. Okay, look at this, y'all. So y'all know Chef Daddy love to cook, right? Loves to cook. But not only cook, he likes to do beautiful presentations. Awesome. So I found this glass platter and it has a lobster, as you can see right here at the bottom. And I bought this for him for $12. So cute. I'm telling y'all, the Goodwill, <laughs> the Goodwill be having some stuff, y'all. So the next thing that I got, Javier, it is so hot. Open the front door. I'm about to die. Mommy's having a moment. You know, women, we do have our moments. It's okay. It's okay. I, um, oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so, guys. I'm gonna show you these. I think you can see them. Can you see them? Maybe not. Uh, oh, there we go. I had to do the famous <laughs> hand behind the earrings. These earrings were $4, but they're kind of special to me. I'm gonna explain them in a minute. It's a chamomile. My mother, when I was little, used to have a brush that she used to brush my hair with, and I used to love it. And on the back of the brush was this head. And it has meaning. Like, I'm literally going to wear these with, like, a cream sweater. It's going to be so cute. But it's just a piece of my childhood. And I thought that these were so cute. When I showed my mom that I found these, she was like, oh, my God. So cute. $4. Goodwill. Okay. Okay, we just going to keep. Okay, bring me a piece of paper towel. I'm, like, literally tripping here, y'all. Like. I'm having a fallout sweat on. I'm about to dump this ice on my head. That's what I'm about to do. Okay. We gonna keep going. Whew. We just gonna keep going. So, the other thing that I got from Goodwill. Thank you. Okay, now we about to really get rid of this thing, y'all. It just happens, you know, us women going through our time. <laughs> Woo, okay, now I can really focus, okay? I'm really getting in. Y'all, look at this skirt. Can you see it? Can you see it? It has the Harley Davidson print in it, bikers. It was obviously made. The skirt was $6 and it's so cute on. I love comfortable stuff in the summertime, but I really love skirts and tank tops and my flip flops. Like that's the type of girl I am. $6, Goodwill. Harley Davidson, patchwork. Y'all see that? Super cute. Now we gonna go to my favorite um, resale shop. It's called Regeneration and it's in Wood on Woodward in Ferndale. I love the ladies there. I have been shopping there for a long time. I donate my clothes. So, you know, my mom's been taking me to like resale shops since I was little. And to be really honest with y'all, this is my philosophy. If I donate my good stuff, other people donate their good stuff. And I mean, I really wanna get a group of girls together and just have a swap party. Let's swap our jewelry, let's swap our clothes. Cause you know, I got some good stuff. I got some really good stuff. And that's what I would love to do. But anyway, I stopped by my regeneration shop because I wanted to say hi to the girls. I haven't seen them since COVID. And look at this, y'all. I got the cutest dress. Can y'all see it? It is so cute. So, so cute. The back is out. It looks really cute on. 
And at this resale shop, like some of the stuff is a little bit on the expensive side, but you can find some unique stuff. Like this green is everything to me. This dress, the way that it fits on me is adorbs. And this unfortunately was kind of, you know, pricey because of who, it, who it's, um, who it's by, but it was, I'm gonna stop doing that. Okay, it was $25, period, okay? Um, and uh, yeah, this is a free people dress. And if you know anything about free people, it's pretty expensive. Just in the shop, like this dress easily was a hundred at the store. So cool, cool. The other thing I got and what I saw a lot of at Regeneration was a lot of Zara stuff, y'all. A lot of Zara stuff. I was like, wow. Zara stuff that I haven't even seen, okay? So this is my type of style right here. So the top is ribbed, it's brown, and then it's a long, long cotton. And I tried this on, it looks really, really cute on. Um, I actually have some, I'm thinking of how to style it. I have some Gucci clog sandals. Remember clog sandals girls were, that we wore when we were little? And they had the wooden bottom and then the strap at that buckle, I think they were like dock something. But anyway, I have some Gucci ones with the matching purse that Hubby bought me years ago. And that's what I thought about this dress. I thought it would be so cute with my Gucci clogs. And that's what you gotta do. Like when you're shopping in the resale shop, like you wanna like put together your outfits because the stuff that you haven't seen in the store or you might look up on something that you have seen and didn't want to pay full price for. Um, and this dress was $10. And quite naturally, all of this stuff is going right in the washing machine. I guess as soon as I'm done with this video. Then guess what, y'all? Uh, Javier found me another skirt. And Javier told me to get it. So I got it. But, okay. So this one was $16. And look at y'all, somebody made a patchwork Detroit Tiger skirt. And it has the Adidas on the back. It has the Detroit Tigers lion, the logo, just so cute. And then the baseball in the front. Yeah, these patchwork skirts are cute. So now I have a Detroit Tigers one. Harley Davidson one, and they all came from the resale shop. And I like the faded they are, the more that I like them. Like I am so rocking it out with a white be white beater, flip flops, hair in a ponytail, ready to go eat with the fam. Okay, that's how I'm rocking it. And then I thought this was super cute. This was four dollars. At regenerations they had a lot of tank tops too i couldn't get all of them i just got one we're just gonna do one at a time look at that sheer look at that y'all remember smoky the bear <coughs> i like it because it says remember only you can prevent forest fires how cute is that with some white cut off jeans blue cut off jeans with converse like super cute four dollars i like i like okay we gonna move on over to fashion junkie fashion savvy junkie.com detroit gal she is located in southfield she has her own shop and she is a nail tech as well nail artist i don't know what they call themselves but nail artist nail extraordinaire boutique extraordinaire she has her own hair salon everything and she's just a sweet girl so i stopped by to say hi to tamala and the reason why i stopped by a couple months ago i bought my me and my cousins all sweatshirts to support her gotta support our own y'all to support her and these glasses were there and i couldn't stop thinking about them and i had got some dental work earlier and she was like couple of miles down and I was like I'm gonna stop say hi see if she got the glasses she had the glasses of course she had the glasses but I wanted some matte black matte black glasses 
and I got them. Um, as soon as I pulled up Hubby's song, he was like, oh, those are cute. See? We ready. We ready. <laughs> she ready. Start ready. I like them. You can go on her website, and she has a lot of this stuff for sale. And then I got the, um, like I said, I got the sweatshirt before. And so now... I wanted a t-shirt because a lot of the times when we travel or we just go out to eat, I like to wrap my city just like a lot of other people. And I got a super cute t-shirt. It says Detroit gal, gray. So I'll wear some cute, you know, white cut off shorts with some black cute shoes and a little, and a little bag. Um, if you can't see, it's glitter. It's cute. She has them in the store, and she said that her new website, or updated website, she already has the website, is going up, and it's going to have new stuff. She has really, really cute clothes. Okay, now we're going to head on over to TJ Maxx for right quick. I'm always, I, I can't pass a black dress, and I get it. Yeah, I have problems. So, look at y'all. Look at this dress. It's pleated down. Down. I can't wait to wear this on a date night. It's pleated down. And then it dips in the back really low. And it has a v-neck in the front. And this is just a tank. It lays really, really cute. You guys will see it on our date night pictures. But anyways, this was $16. And then I headed on over to Burlington. I was looking for some stuff for my son um, and I went to Burlington and Javier, can you hand me that Donna Karen shoe, that flip flop? And I got some stuff from Burlington. Only thing about Burlington, you gotta like, you know, it ain't always like, here, look at me, whatever. So. I already wore these, so they kind of are like, they like this. Donna Karen flip flops, C, C, C. And I have a Donna Karen overnight bag, so I thought that these would be cute. And I got these because they were damaged, but I fixed them. They are originally $14.99. I got them for $8 because the girl was cool. Yeah, I got to do y'all couponing. It's okay to do your complaining when something ain't right and they gonna give you a deal for the steal, okay? Let me tell y'all something. So I told y'all how I go on the internet and I look up something to make sure that I got a fantastic deal. Why were these on the internet, okay? The clear see-through Donna Karen for $56 used. Like it makes me want to literally resell the stuff that I find so I can make money. Maybe that'll be my second like income. I don't know. Maybe maybe that might be my hustle because I got time. But can you have 50, 56? And they cute on. Cute. The other thing I got, I have a really cute true story. My first Tory Burch bag that I got, and I should have grabbed it, but it's all the way upstairs, so I can't go. But y'all will see it when I get dressed to go out. Um, my first Tory Burch bag came from Regeneration on Woodward. Went in there. I just love this clutch because it was cloth. It had a wooden handle, and it had this emblem. I didn't even know what Tory Burch was, y'all. And I, that was the first Tory Burch bag I got from the resale shop. Anyway, it has orange in it. I've never worn it. And I was like, I need to find something orange so I could wear it. And I got one of these skirts, crinkly skirts. It's really long. I plan to wear, you see the blue? I plan to wear it with a cute fitted, fitted denim top. And yeah, and some, I'll probably rock it out with some like cognac, cognac heels or something something neutral on my feet, unless I can find the wood clock, heeled mules that are orange suede. That's the fit, okay? This was $12.99. This is gonna be so cute on. I like, I like. And then I just 
I don't know, picked up a summer dress. I thought that this was cute. So it's, um, goes around the chest, you know? And it's long. And in the front, it's high low. And I just thought that this would be really cute with my cognac, my, I mean, not Michael Kors, my cognac Tory Burch bag that I got for my birthday. And I've got some Tory Burch, I mean, not Tory Burch, but some cognac stilettos that, that wrap up my leg. And I plan on wearing that with that. And this was only $9.99. So hit or miss. Like I said, you gotta have in your head kind of how you wanna put together your outfit. It makes it easier um, to plan. And then one last thing, Mr. Williams. Mr. Williams. I got a package, y'all. Now I have to show you what I got. Where's that? So anyway, y'all know I love Dossier, right? I love Dossier. Can y'all see that? Y'all already know what this is. If you, tell them to come here. If you are a influencer or if you watch influencers, then you know this is pretty big right now. So I'll talk about it again. Dossier is a brand that um, they make uh, the cologne and perfume of the high-end cologne and perfumes. I went to the counter at Saks and actually smelled the high-end cologne and perfumes and I can vouch that these smell exactly like what they say. So I bought Hubby. Come here. Oh, I thought you wanted me to do something. Yeah, I want you to sit right here. Okay. So, yeah. Say hi to Varta, star up? people, star family. It's, it's, it's so easy. Um, so I bought Hubby Creed and I also bought him Baccarat. And Creed and Baccarat is $3.50 and up. It's, if y'all hear, okay, really, really Bruno? I set the paper down, he went to him. My bad. Anyway. Um, I bought Hubby, Baccarat, and Creed, and they're easily three fifty dollars a piece. So he has Creed, Baccarat is on its way. What did you think? Oh, it smells awesome. Oh, it smells yeah. awesome? Heck yeah. Uh, didn't your son, you said your son came and took it, didn't you? Yeah, our son went right in the room. So he got some Creed and sprayed it. I think he was going out with his girlfriend mm -hmm. or something. But anyway, guys, you have to try Dossier. As I stated before, <laughs> I buy him cologne all the time. I buy him the big bottles, the big beautiful bottles. He has a whole display on his dresser. But yeah, ain't nobody trying to spend three fifty, four fifty, five fifty on a bottle of cologne just for the name when we could do what? Eat, <laughs> eat, travel. We like to eat. Y'all know we like to eat. So anyway, um, yeah, these are really cool. It comes with the notes and it tells you exactly what the notes are. It comes with the big bottle. These came with the sample spray. They're supposed to be discontinuing this. Um, and this is for if you wanna test it. And if you like it, you keep it. If you don't, you keep this and you send the big bottle back, you get your money back. So it's money back guarantee, win-win situation. Um, and yeah, they're pretty quick. They made a mistake and sent me the wrong one and not his Baccarat. Oh, yes. And not his Baccarat, so they, they have to send that, but... um. He got Creed, Baccarat, and I got, I got Good Girl, which is by um, Carolina, Carolina Herrera, the Good Girl perfume, and it smells, y'all, it smells so good. So, smells good. <laughs> check out Dossier. It's really, really nice. And yeah, that's in the Maha. Go resell shopping. You find some cute, cute stuff. Don't knock it till you try it. Oh, whoa, wait, 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 wait. I got one more thing in my bag. I always, you know what? When you buy jewelry, make sure y'all take it out because I forgot. Okay, look at these bracelets. They were two for $4. <sighs> Let me see, can y'all see them? So one has turquoise on it. The other one has the red. 
Maybe if I lean back with it. Lean back. I don't know why. Y'all can't see them. Can you see? Y'all can see right there. But look, these bracelets are so cute. Um, let me put them on this, this arm. And my son's trying to send me something. I don't know what he's saying. He's saying something about subscribers. Oh, okay. Let me pause. If you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, I don't know why you're not. You need to subscribe. Hit the like button. Hit the comment button. Leave a comment. I love to hear from you guys. He wants me to hit 2,000 subscribers. I'm just doing this for fun because it gives me something to do. I like to share. And y'all know what the beauty about it is? People have went to the restaurants we suggested and had a wonderful time. People have went to the shops I suggested. They have shopped from my friends that have businesses. Like I said, if we could help one person, one business, one, you know, my PRs, if PS, not PRs, PSAs, if they can help one person at a time, I'm happy. I'm so happy. So happy. But anyway, these two bracelets I thought were really cute. I'm going to add them to my collection of bracelets. They, they're just dainty. And like I said, they were two for $4.50. Um, and they need to be shined a little bit, but that's okay. I got time. Anyway, God bless y'all and have a wonderful day. I'm moving all around. Have a wonderful day. We're off to celebrate all these birthdays. Peace.